Time now for PFT on Yahoo Sports. Peter King and Mike Florio here with you. Big stories in the NFL, none bigger than the Super Bowl. But, Peter, pro football amid a pandemic. So far, the NFL is 268 for 268. All games have been played. And I would suspect that there are some in the league office that wish that the Super Bowl would be played this Sunday, not the following Sunday, because of the potential that guys who aren't locked into a game coming up and what would be only six days away could end up getting COVID-19. Strange week for these two teams as they try to remain free of the virus, Peter. I think that's a great point, Mike. And we'd be naive to think that uh, these two rosters are going to go 106 for 106, you know, with 53 active guys on each roster, you know, being fine on game day. Um, I... I mean, I think it's, I think the odd part of this week is it's going to feel, even with one of the great quarterback matchups in Super Bowl history, you know, the best player of today versus the best player of yesterday, and both of them are (laughs) still going to be great in 2021, by the way, Uh, you know, when you, when you sort of look at this man, how great it would be to celebrate it and to be clubbed over the head, you know, for 13 days before the game. And it's going to get a lot of talk, obviously, but it's not going to be the same with the teams not being on scene, with doing Zoom calls without being in public and and all that stuff. It's just going to be weird. It's just going to be very weird. Chiefs probably won't go into Tampa until Friday or Saturday. It's just, it's going to be a totally different Super Bowl but I still think 637 or whatever time the game is on Super Sunday, um, people are going to be pretty fired up for Mahomes Brady 5. Yeah, absolutely. And all we can hope for is that they get to that point without anything that would undermine the competitive aspect of the game. And it's locked in. It's going forward. They're not going to postpone it. You know, they, they, Look, we, we've been down this road many times throughout the season, and there's every reason to believe they'll be able to keep this on the right track. But they do have that extra time now to worry about it. I remember when the Buccaneers had their bye week, week 13. That was one of the things that Bruce Arians was concerned about. Stay on the right side of the virus and you know with team leaders like Tom Brady and others I I, I, this is it this is your moment this is your time I think the challenge though is this and Arians talked about this yesterday if you've got people coming in from out of town that's where you need to be even more careful you don't know what your house guests may bring to you and that's how you may end up getting exposed to it the Dallas Cowboys did a brilliant thing late in this year Jerry Jones, around, I think, Thanksgiving it was, he may have also done it for Christmas, he had a testing site. He opened up the Cowboys testing site in Frisco, Texas, to all visitors, all family visitors. And, you know, there was an unofficial thing among the Cowboys. Do not have anyone enter your house until they have undergone testing. And everybody did it. Front office did it. Coaches did it. Anybody was going to be around the players. If I were uh, the NFL, if I were either one of these teams, that's the rule I'd have in place uh, during Super Bowl week. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, one of the things that started last week that hasn't gotten a lot of publicity, the NFL actually has individuals from the league office who are in the team facilities just making sure that the protocols are being followed because all year long the NFL has accepted guys are going to get it away from work. The challenge is making sure that the guys who inevitably come through the door and we're not going to find out until that night or the next morning that they tested positive, making sure that none of those guys give it to anyone else, Peter. And that's where the NFL's protocols have performed incredibly well. I think one of the things, you know, you saw the NFL uh, this week combine uh, sort of with the CDC, with the CDC crediting the NFL for being able to keep up its business in a pandemic. It's like what Alan Sills said to me in August, Mike, America should be rooting for us to succeed because we can show the country how if you really try, if you really want to, if you have the will, um, you know, you will be able to beat this pandemic or conduct business during this pandemic. The NFL has had the will. America, sadly, has not. 
Also helps to have enough money to pay for your own private testing capacity. That's a different issue altogether, though. That's it for now. He's Peter King. I'm Mike Florio. We'll see you next time. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.